Brown butter is the key ingredient to one of the most popular cookies served at the Irving Bakery. We make that a day in advance. You have to brown the butter and it, um, the milk fats in the butter, um, they caramelize and the sugars, they caramelize, it makes it browner. And so it's, current, it's a bitter taste, but it's also sweet at the same time. And so you have a bitter-sweet combination. Bitter-sweet cocoa chips are then poured into the batter and then mixed in before rounded pieces are placed on the tray and put in the oven. The brown butter chocolate chip cookies are just one of the many desserts served here. A lot of cookies. <laughs> um, those are our probably most popular items, cookies. Um, we have a regular chocolate chip cookie, um, an M&M cookie, the snickerdoodle peanut butter cookie, then um, brownies we just added to the menu. Those are, um, we have walnuts and then just plain brownies. Um, we have a circus animal uh, cheesecake. Um, it's just like a regular flavor cheesecake, but it's a uh, circus animal uh, decorated that came from a custom order. And then we have cake pops. Right now we have an Italian cream cake pop, strawberry cake pop, and a chocolate cake pop. We have a salted caramel macaroon and then a strawberry macaroon. Those are both gluten-free. And then we have a gluten-free cannoli cupcake and then a regular it's Italian cream cupcake. The Irving Bakery can accommodate to dietary restrictions such as gluten-free, vegan, and sugar-free through custom orders placed three to five days ahead. <laughs> Owner Thomas Sullivan says his new shop is actually a pandemic success story. I'm originally from New York. Um, I moved here, I moved to Texas in Houston in 2015. I moved to Dallas in 2018. Um, I was working for a company um, as, as a travel position and so then the pandemic happened and so I got laid off during that time um, and I was baking at home and I was just selling my baked goods at home and um, it started um, taking off and getting a lot of orders and so our whole kitchen was full of baked goods, <laughs> full of baked goods and equipment and stuff like that and so um, we were looking to open up a location. I just thought this was a perfect place, it was a perfect time. Um, the pandemic just started like getting over with, kind of, and so um, everything was starting to open up, and so I think it was just perfect timing. Leading Thomas to turn his love of baking into a career. It's fun. It's, for me, it's easy, but I know that a lot of people it's not easy, and so it's great to help people that can't bake. And then um, one of the products that we actually do have, we have a shelf-stable cookie mix yeah. um, that you can take with you and bake at home. Thomas encourages the community to come out and try his fresh, high-quality baked goods at the Irving Bakery. For About Town, this is Susan Stevens.